up? It's 3 toe. We are back here with Dagan Rumpa. Um, we're coming up on some major spoilers. So if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend taking a look at the playlist. Uh, there'll be a link to that in the description. Yeah, let's jump into it. I guess last time uh, we left when we left off last Kyoko just uh, barged into our room at like 3 a.m. I believe it was. So uh, let's see what she got to say. It's so late. Well, what happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask. What's your favor? So. Remember when so what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not just gonna lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how'd you plan to do that? Then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. <laughs> the data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? The words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center? But I thought it was locked. Leave the area? Yes. It's so weird. I don't think I've ever been out at nighttime. So this is, uh, this is odd. My way to, into the after hours school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand on the door with a certain amount of force. I rattle. It didn't open. I tried again, but... It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh, ho, what are you doing up, mister? Ah. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But I can see that, you don't. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. It looked like you might break in any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try and tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. It's 3 o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Yoko? <coughs> no, you too. Whatever, two of you, just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Okay. <coughs> yeah, yeah, go on, get out of here. Shoo, shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... Goodbye. So, goodbye. Uh, hold on. Listen, what was that all about just now? She woke me up made me go to the data center, which just happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. Then that was over. But as I turned to leave, Mukuro Ikusaba. What? So it goes right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. There's a 16th student? The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. All star apologies. The end. Mikuro Ikusaba? You received the altar lump. Yeah. Or by gold. Mukuro Ikusaba. What? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Oh. <sighs> Yo, can we watch out for Mukuro Ikusaba? 
that was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. A hundred mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall. Hmm. So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hey, you don't make... Hey, you don't make small talk or anything. We never just got straight into the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Who was it? Who, uh, who solved the last murder? And uh, you never suspected it? Just saying. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you? Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. <laughs> but she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <laughs> Geez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Rakia warned us against. Come on. And yet I let myself get involved. But it is not finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Reassured by an obvious irritated Byakia, we all started our exploration. So let's go up here and check like the fifth floor. I think there were stairs to a fifth floor. There are also the stairs over by the warehouse, which hopefully will open, because I'm curious to what's behind those. So let's just make our way up the stairs. And like, okay, who is this 16th student? Because I know they were talking about 15, and it was odd for there to be 15 in the beginning. But I guess I kind of forgot about it. And so there, now there is actually a 16th student. The ultimate despair, but we don't even know Kyoko's ultimate. I'm assuming it's like the ultimate investigator or something like that. Okay, yes, it is open. Okay, let's see. What do we got up here? So here I am on the fifth floor of Host Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. It's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. I can't look up any higher. I want to see the top of them bamboo. The bamboo. Around this corner. It looks like some sort of a dojo, I think. I'd assume. What's up with that other one? It's just white. What well, Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying <coughs> hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, can't say anything. Kyoko nerd her eyes. I gaze dart up to a surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She tried to tell me whatever it was. It was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then, we're finished here. She made very clear our conversation had come to an end. Just like usual, I didn't understand any better than before. Even though this room is totally in. Hey. Oh. Oh. Uh, Indeed. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want. To. Okay. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. 
I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation is kind of out of place. Okay. You. Yo. At first, I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and ceiling. You know. But the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Uh, why is it that bad? Hmm. You don't, don't you get it? Don't you realize the true honor of plant life? Is there, is there just beneath the surface, beneath the calm exterior? They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide, they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore. The end is not They'll put up their plan for global human extermination into action. Well, I'm serious. Okay. Whoa, what is this? This is super weird, super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plants all like snap and your flesh is all like, Bleh, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty friggin' amazing if I do say so myself. I stand at Hope's Peak Academy, added improvement after improvement, created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually. Oh, by the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people, so it's totally good for the environment. Well, Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Uh, Not that I know anything about that myself. Aha! Spelling more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Just be sure I should take a look in that tool shed. The place seems totally disorganized from a lot of to fertilize or flower pots. Uh, flower pots to farm tools. And then you get the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Oh, there's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. It's lawn there's lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? There are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? Flower pots. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Although I only see little ones there. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Bags of fertilizers, fertilizer are piled up and there are so many different kinds to choose from. A crazy diamond. That's the name of Mondo's uh, biker gang. I think that's all there is here. Yeah, that was the name, the Crazy Diamond Gang or whatever. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? Seems safe. It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like... I can save for that for sure. It's a chicken. It doesn't have like a second form, right? It's a chicken. A real alive, right? There's no mistake. It's a chicken. It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It's a chicken. It's not gonna like lay a bomb, is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto. Yeah, I love these little guys. They're like, seriously cute. And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly? Hmm. Five, you know the number that comes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. 
Anyway, whenever a number five pops up, it's a good omen. It contains the mysterious mysteries of the cosmos. It's a huge right. number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeezed, all natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. There's some kind of control panel sent near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? Yeah, control the sprinklers in the garden. Sprinklers are set up to go every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. Of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. That means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. Yep, you got it. Super usually friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourselves. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinkles anyway. Or you have some kind of water fetish. I'm going to tell everyone. Ah. Okay, then. So it would appear that this place is all based around vegetation. Um. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. There's some k kind of reason for that. I hope it's not anything too creepy. Whoa. What the hell is this? A grotesque horror. The grotesque horror of the rooms struck me hard and fast. But I saw it was bad enough, but when I smelled, it was sour, pungent, impossibly right. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It is. It must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. You saying it's the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. If he was right, I'd experienced the smell more than once before. Oh, it's the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have. What, my fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, iggy squeegee little hint. As far as the shrooms goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh -oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood, over the, blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die of bloody, gruesome deaths every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? So... I've... This has to have something to do with the tragedy, doesn't it? Like... There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a hmm. ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry. Their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Hmm. Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> There's cat hairs all, hairs all over my mic. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? Seems like he's enjoying himself. No way can I keep up with someone like that. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. Is there anything else here? Um, Biaki, what about what about what Monokuma just told us? Like I'm, I'm in theory here, he must have lost the plot. Is he really thinking that hard or is he just flat out ignoring me? Viria yeah. 
Draw. Bio. Draw rattle. It's locked. Come all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says Bio Lab. Bio Lab. We're forbearing from seeing him too. That sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Yes, I've seen what there's to see up here now. Once again, nothing I find seemed to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. That classroom has to be a part of the uh, tragedy, I guess. When after night, everyone made their way into the dining hall and before too long. Hmm. It appears everyone has returned. <sighs> but still, it's just a six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sour puss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. <laughs> hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we, we've lost, we have to do our best. Hmm. Can we all stop this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay, Hina. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. They used to be kind of Sakura's job, but... Hmm. Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance to escape on the fifth, fifth, fifth floor, the fifth floor either. But I was looking around to realize something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you know was about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good right look around the fifth floor of yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Why do you ask? So then. As if you did, you must know that the fifth floor is lacking something that every other floor has had. Something, all the other floors, but not the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. Is that what you're talking about, right? Does that mean, mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But, but that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I'm not sure. We absolutely will make it out of this, no matter what it takes. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor we couldn't access. Hmm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? Is it like a cliche horror game or something? Or it'd be some. Or if this was like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss or tyrant or. But. We're not in a horror game though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. No. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right too. Hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh, fat, and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? Well, what the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell of itself was horrific, far beyond that of any normal murder scene. Every body smell, every body smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe but... it. But I mean, what the hell happened to that room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. Now my theory, now theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is the instance said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely, the tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Speak Academy. That's true. It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope Speak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess it all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terribly tragic. Hopeless. 
still. How is it that no one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? It's like, I'm going to keep saying it. My theory is we all went to school here and uh, we were a part of the tragedy. Um, but they ended up, we either, either they erased our memories of it or we just ended up having some form of amnesia about it. Well, you know, that even some most amnesia victims end up regaining their memory after some time. So how is it that even going through all this school wouldn't jog any sort of memory? I don't know. But, yeah, what do you have to say? Hey, Byakia, seems like Toka wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you ho told her to zip it or whatever. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop all of us in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. Do <laughs> you honor me, master? <laughs> and don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just going to take it? Shut up. Don't interrupt when Master and me are talking. Um, okay, so what did you t want to tell us? Well, I was in the classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this a knife. Oh, that thing is huge, just like Rambo size. I mean, it is a clip. It is a clip point blade. So or a buoy for non knife people. What? It's a survival knife of some type. It looks honestly with the holes on the side, it ends up looking more like a bayonet of some sort. But, I don't know. What was it doing in a classroom? Wow. How would I know? Very what are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I, I just panicked. I just picked it up and didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it lying around than the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important. Now that we have that knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. So what do we do? So then. Why don't you hang why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Me? <laughs> yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Then that's that. Why did they just wait? Is that is that the knife that we saw at the beginning of the game or this recording session? Uh, that was in that guy with the mask's back or front or something. Hold on, don't I get to say? It's all clear. It just shows how much I trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. You're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Hey, Toko. Do I still have bad breath? Sorry, I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? Huh? Uh, the master just praised me? <laughs> hey, good for you. Yeah. I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. <laughs> uh, that, would, that I would ever experience such a dream. Uh, I feel strange. Uh, it's a strange joy, strange. Oh, oh I, uh, whatever. I look at Toko these days and it makes me feel bad. What do you find? You know? Well, there's a big guard up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing that worry, or one more than one thing to be worried about. A stupid little large plant, a chicken coop, and a tool shed. Monokuma said it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious. It's a to it's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that might we might that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in here. Well, yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You didn't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. 
<laughs> of course not, because he used to never get wet. And I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I've started worrying about you, hero. Can you tell what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on. I don't always have to be... You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. It'll make you happy I'll answer your dumb question. Um, so was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. You know? There's a big garden on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can we can make fried chicken or barbecued. Decisions, decisions. Oh, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. You know? I think that would kill us too. You notice the two, huh? That pickaxe? What? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. I'm, I've haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy diamond. Yeah, that does sound familiar. I think it's true. I don't think I don't just think we know. We I know we've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? That's it. I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. And maybe Mondo brought it with him when we first came here and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all, huh? What did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. Are you gonna, how are you gonna call for help with the lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe we can use it to make crop circles. Yeah, so I'm gonna make crop circles. Well, oh, we can use um, those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck has happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? Back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Uh. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed you in you now than I've ever been. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command, but before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No Jeez, way. how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your hair gets any bigger. Um. So, what is it you, sit, you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well. Kyoko's identity, but Kyoko is Kyoko, right? Okay. Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Host Peak Academy. He is the ultimate swimming pro, hero is the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about you, Kyoko? Can, I, can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... How you mentioned it? She's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? doesn't matter what she likes or doesn't like. It's a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean by you can't? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. Do you have no memory you mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking, but if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is you can't be serious suspicious. from right now, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However, but it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're what? done. So you have no intention of telling us, then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? <laughs> Nothing, nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear. I'll simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give. Give up. me the key to your room. If she gives you her room key, huh? she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine. 
I understand. Hmm. Good, you're finally in the mood for conversation. I was saying a word, Kyoko, right up to Byakuya and hold out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Because whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right However, in. The worst school where the worst thing could happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here was filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back to us and without a word began to walk. Come away. on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do any anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was from the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? Well, what's her deal? What? I think you went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't fair enough. <gasps> or maybe she gets off on the tension. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, I, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, your heart beating, it great. It grades on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, you know, I know how you feel, but what's Kyoko going to do now? Plus the situation is just like before. No different from when everyone else started accusing Sakura. And I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What, what? Uh, um... what the? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Because, I mean... Because, look... What? Oh, it's you! How long have you been standing there? I am very, very angry! Angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your mess. What? My precious... They stole it. They're precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Reality is built with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away from their fantasies. Um... What the heck is your precious? Shut up. I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, he said um... something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? If that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed fall. I'm still kind of like. I'm confused on who this ultimate um, despair is. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow and about Kyoko. <laughs> oh, however, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. Oh, it's just you take extra precautions. You nice stay in your rooms and don't go wandering around. Well. Not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. So what's going to happen to Kyoko? Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put the knife that I got. I need to put away the knife I got from Toko. I think the safest place for it would be in my desk drawer. Oh, wait, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Mm, there we go. 
As I open my eyes, I realize I fall asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Oh, what's up, Kyoko? Kyoko? Oh. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. This is two nights in a row where I've left. I've broken the rule. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used Correct. to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? Does this mean to have something to do with whoever or whatever you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. Key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. No shape like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get so... this? From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But it wasn't locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. You did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm gonna just lay down and die. Or I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for That's us. That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. So she did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die. So at least her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you in the data center in, the, in order to... Correct. Correct. I wanted to draw Monokuma's attention. Uh, I took the opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. What you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. You find out about Mikro Ikazaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but the only thing I do know is that Mikro Ikazaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words... She very well... G may very well be the mastermind. M mastermind? Didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. I made such a strong statement without any proof. It's not like Kyoko at all. That must mean she's really certain about it. But if it isn't the headmaster... Does that mean Mukuro Ikazaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway... You know, this key is one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlocked? So... I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go find out. Wait, so you're planning to sneak back in again? You can't! It's way too dangerous! You want me to draw his attention? We don't actually know... The... Uh, there's just one mastermind, right? There's more than one person watching us. Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But you said maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run exper the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again. <laughs> though we may just have been a lucky guess... Then it, then what may have been just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have been a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but. No matter what the reward, the, the risk is just too high. I think what might happen... When I think about what happened, well, what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all too much... All that much after all. 
With mineral restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even with that, I... Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, uh, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the fan flail, the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, in other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But if you spend all your time trying to avoid danger. You'll never move forward. Facts. That's facts. We know the danger, but if the risk means solving the mystery, we don't have a choice. Or, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I'd never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? It's true. Consider a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. If something happens? However. I'm not playing on dying, but there's always a small chance of it. And death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mash mind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. You mean there's something else? Well. There's nothing. Forget I said anything. Yeah, just forget that easily. So then. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give him my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's going to be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself... Uh, helped shake uh, some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here. I've got a poem to pick with you. And a few minutes later... Monokuma well, appears! well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey! Hey! hey. Oh, by the way, huh? Most what were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot, steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, wet and warm. I bet you guys removed to confirm with local and international censorship laws. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. But whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in a late in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens got, a, got it all foggy and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went through all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, uh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm, uh, ma uh manda... Moiselle or a dude fella? Oh, maid Muselli or oh, okay, or a dude fella. Actually, uh, in the Bear King uh, Kingdom, there is no male or female. I'm actually there is. What? Seriously? My then what am I? <laughs> Excited. Kind of That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what do you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told a story that your precious have been stolen. What is this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible. And all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. 
got to be 100 megaton. Freaking kidding me. You're not going to ask something useful like how to get the best honey or or your scene breeding tips. This is just crazy. All, all our prepubescent team boys as nutty as you. What the heck? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you it was a key and... Blank, blah, blah, blank. That's it. What was that same thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in for yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma, Monokuma stormed off. Boo, I hope to keep him distracted. Man. All I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? Went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Is Kyoko all right? Good it is not yet ready is that to blood in his cup? I just feel like, or that's why or that's blood? I really don't want to know which one. All right, so this is where I'm going to be ending it right here. This video, I guess, is a little longer than I was thinking of making it. Um, But, you know, things happen. So, hey, um, if you're liking what I'm putting out, remember to like and subscribe. And, hey, I'll see you all on the flip side.